Hello folks and welcome back to Blackbeard's Detailing YouTube channel. I'm Ross, today I have this Audi A3 Saloon Akalotro in for a ceramic detail. Just finished, uh, just putting the wee finishing touches on yesterday's course that was in for protection detail. So that's it nestled up in the unit, I wait to get collected by the customer and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the safe wash on this A3. Usual procedure, uh, starting off with the citrus uh, wash on all the lower panels and the wheel arches. Uh, give the wheels a quick spray over with the cleaner, get that all rinsed off, and fill the buckets up and get ready to get the car all soapy, washed and decontaminated. Drop. 
drop. Well, that's uh, the car all being safe washed and in the unit ready for the machine polishing and other bits and bobs to begin. Uh, you might have seen the blue Focus pull up outside, that was one of the customer's cars I did uh, maybe last month, month before, I think it's vlog number two with Focus. Brought up this uh, rather awesome RS mug, the RS Owners Club. So, much appreciated that I shall enjoy a nice coffee in that very shortly. Uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the car lifted up. Usually when the cars come into the unit, uh, the water that's been settled in the, about the car and the nooks and crannies of it ends up on the floor. It uh, can make the place quite slippy and as I've realised starts chewing up my floor. So usually I get the car lifted up on the ramp and use my big squeegee and squeegee out the water just creates for a nicer working environment and uh, helps to reduce any of the humidity inside as well less slippy, less chance of going to have a fall so I'm going to crack on and get that done and uh, get the water swept away have a wee look around the car see if there's any wee issues I can see if there is contact the customer prior to starting uh, but all in all it looks alright doesn't look to be any massive issues, just general paint condition stuff that uh, you get with uh, with cars that have been used in the road for a number of years. So yeah, I'm going to get cracked on and get started. Hello. As you can see, this area here, this is a pretty standard for all around the car, what this section looks like. It's uh, your kind of normal swirl marks and uh, kind of wash marring love marks as uh, some people like to call it. I'll try and zoom in, do a bit of focus, there we go. Uh, so we have areas like this, that uh, looks as if it's been scrubbed a bit too hard, maybe dried a bit too hastily. And the bits above it just there, that are your usual swirl marks. All this stuff should come off absolutely no problems whatsoever. So I'm going to make a start with the machine polishing and yeah, take it from there.
that's the machine polishing phase been completed, the interior has been done, uh, interior glass all done, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rain repel treat uh, a glass sealant uh, exterior windows. So, real simple, easy to do. Front gets two coats, the uh, sides just basically get that uh, one coat. 15 minutes cure time, buff off, and in between that uh, curing time, I will go and I will seal all the, the plastics in the engine bay. Uh, good progress for the car, condition of it generally pretty good. So yeah, it was uh, wasn't the most taxing to do, makes a change. But I'm going to crack on, I'm going to get this done and I might actually make it home for dinner tonight for a change. Uh, after the engine bay is done and this is done, the only other thing to do is IPA wipe down the entire car and then on to the ceramic coat stage. So yeah, it's a very good progress today. That's the windows, engine bay, etc. all been done. Next on the list uh, prior to the ceramic cone is a wipe down with isopropyl alcohol. It's a 99.9% .9 alcohol, it's like kind of surgically clean, it removes any trace of uh, kind of polish residue that might be on the car, any type of you know, oily residues that's left over from a uh, polishing phase, any other of the cleaning phase. And, when you look into the, the mechanical aspects of paintwork and clear coat with isopropyl alcohol, apparently opens the pores in the paint uh, and or the lacquer. It's doing that, it allows for the coating, the actual ceramic coating, to bond perfectly with it. You feel with the, this is getting a two year coating on it, so it's ceramic pro light that's going on it. When it's on, it feels super slick. You can, once you've you've actually put the ceramic coating on, you've uh, you've self leveled it, and when you're onto the phase which you're buffing it off, not so much buffing, you're just kind of waiting to make sure there's it's it's perfectly even. It feels so slick. It just feels fantastic. This you should also put on your car if you've. Uh, give your car a polish and you're going to wax it afterwards. This stuff is so cheap. You buy it on eBay, you buy it on Amazon. It's, I think it's under what, £7 for 5 litres of it. So it's a good way of making sure that the surface is prepped and it's ready for your, uh, your, your LSP, which is your last stage protection. So it doesn't take that long to do. You just spray it on each panel and go over it. I always use a yellow cloth for this so I know it's basically my wee uh, colour code for cloth. So I've uh, maybe only got through about a fifth of this one left so I'm just going to fill it up uh, and that means it's full and it's ready to go. Uh, the, it evaporates so quickly as well so you're literally doing like a quarter panel if it's on the bonnet maybe a quarter of it at a time if it's a door half the door. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, it does it evaporates so quickly. Uh, there's I've got different. There we go. Overflowed. Uh, I do have different uh, measurements of it. I've got one which is a uh, fifty percent, and uh, this one which is a hundred percent. Hundred percent for preparation before I apply oh, a ceramic coating. Uh, I have a major leak here on this, not on me. <laughs> yeah, so I shall mop that up. The other thing which I was going to do anyway, which this is going to help with, is clean my surface. The surface gets used for pretty much everything I do when I'm detailing. So I'm just going to take one of my kind of throwaway cloths. That's my PA cloth. And uh, I've already spilled probably about 100 millilitres out of this uh, uh, with a wee surge of it. So I'm just going to spread this about. 
and uh, my cloths I'm going to be using rest on this uh, the actual applicator pad for the ceramic coating rests on this when it's not getting used so I want to make sure anything that touches that car is absolutely 100% clean through and through uh, and this is obviously one of the uh, the surfaces that my applicators sit on so I don't want anything to contaminate that ceramic coating so that is going on a mat so I'm going to uh, set up my stuff and I'm going to give this the IPA wipe down I'm also going to shut the back door uh, get a wee kind of, it's a nice gentle breeze today if there's any type of proper wind at all I generally just shut that door because I don't want stuff coming through but it's just a nice wee gentle breeze today hence the door is open so I'm going to shut that uh, door over and lock it up uh, so I, I know that's done and then I'm going to give the, the car the IPA wipe right down Okay, that's the IPA wipe down now and done. Uh, should have added as well before the, you say, from the, the point of the IPA wipe down afterwards, it's only brands, bank, and new cloths that get touched uh, the, the car paintwork. So the IPA wipe down is all done. So this is basically what gets used. This is my own wee process. I've got my controller there for the PC for my um, music. Uh, two types of applicator you can use there is this type which is sponge and a lint free cloth which wraps around and you put your droplets on and spread it amongst the car these work just as good but I find them quite difficult to grasp for the length of time uh, also for those who know me will know I've got nerve damage in my left hand I cannot feel it at all so uh, I find that quite difficult to grip hold of sometimes so these are out I use these uh, they are uh, again lint free it gets blown out before I touch it with my compressed air uh, that is my applicator pad that's what I use to put ceramic coating on the car bottle of water obviously stand by in case I'm thirsty so got three cloths looked out, all brand new, tags come off, chucked to the side. So I have cloth number one, and then again, ripped off, cloth number two, which sits there in the top there, there's a wee E, that's not three, that's E, that stands for emergency, i.e. there's stuff goes on a bit of the car which shouldn't be on. That sits there, stays there, and doesn't get touched unless I absolutely need it. I.e. There's a, there's a bit of trim or there's something on the car which isn't reacting well to the coating. I can use that to remove it immediately. That's my wee trolley set up. It's what works for me. Other people might be different, but this is the way I like it. It's relatively simple, straightforward. Always know that applicators in the middle, cloth number one, cloth number two, usually get about a third of the way around the car and then cloth number two then becomes cloth number one and I get a new cloth uh, for the second wipe so you probably use a uh, region of about five six cloths uh, per car and they then get chucked down at the bottom just down there and they get used for like tires and uh, stuff like that because once this stuff happens on the cloth uh, you don't want to touch your paintwork with it because it's uh, it's quite scratchy and cause a bit of damage. So this base my be trolley set up and I'm about to rudely interrupted there by the compressor. Uh, apologies. The yeah, I'm about to start the ceramic coating. I've got a customer on the way up to drop off the car for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna hold off on the coating until that customer's arrived, I don't want any interruptions throughout it uh, and yeah we'll take it from there and I'll do maybe a wee time lapse from the coating
Well, here's the uh, here's the idiot that spilled his bottle of ceramic coating. Me. Uh, about a fifth of a bottle left, which is enough to do this car. The roof, bonnet, everything's all been done. I've only got this this wing and the bumper to do. However, I have that uh, Range Rover and for surprise surprise a ceramic coating. So yeah, not happy. Uh, message the guys from Ceramic Pro and one of them's gonna he's gonna come the old anyway, so he's gonna swing past the unit with another bottle and a couple of hours. So I'll uh, crack on, I'll get this one finished. I'll take some pictures etc of it and uh, yeah, I've got a couple of hours to kill, so probably get a head start in that on that Land Rover, uh, or sorry, Range Rover. Uh, unit's big enough, I can get two cars in, so probably going to start the safe wash on that. Uh, get it all, get it all washed and ready. Uh, yeah, and then get it in the unit. Probably I'll do a chicken pecora as well because I'm absolutely starving. So yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> I don't need just to eat, get a chicken pecora ordered, get this finished. By the time I get this finished, the chicken pecora should hopefully be there. I shall refuel and then I'll start on that Range Rover. Uh, yeah, plans etc. Uh, bottle had about two thirds of the bottle left, which is rather annoying, but these things happen unfortunately, and uh, very fortunate that. The guys who run Ceramic Pro Scotland just work in Glasgow, so local to them, and they're able to drop off another bottle to me, thankfully. And else, I would be well and truly scuppered. But usually, when I get to about a third of a bottle, uh, I usually pop in and grab another one from them, usually pick up two bottles, uh, and usually have another sitting spare but that bottle was a relatively new one these things happen no point trying over spilt ceramic coating i'll get it sorted and i'll uh, yeah i'll get this audi finished well i am benito with the audi uh, yeah looks absolutely fantastic if you do say so myself uh, the Rest of the coating and on, absolutely no issues whatsoever. I've got a couple of mil left in the in the bottle, so thankfully got the next one. Uh, it will be dropped off by either Sajid Darabi uh, from Ceramic Pro. So I, my trim picor has arrived, so I'm going to stick on something on the telly. I'm going to kick back, I'm going to enjoy it, check Pagora, something to eat and then I'm going to give that Range Rover its uh, start its safe wash, at least do the alloys or do something on it while I'm sitting up here, I hate sitting and wasting time. So I'm going to get some food, get refuelled uh, and then yeah, I shall take it from there.